So understanding the difference between asphalt and concrete is the first thing that I want you to do. It's, it's very, very basic, but it's important that you know the difference between one and the other. And it's, you know, it's kind of subtle when you think about it. So here's one of these is asphalt and one of these is concrete. Who wants to guess which is which? Which one's this? And which one's this? Very good. Okay, seminar over. Look, we got done early. <laughs> you know the difference between asphalt and concrete. No, really, the difference is quite subtle. Kind of like, um, like the difference between a, a bad golfer and a bad skydiver, right? <laughs> it's very subtle. It's in the sound, right? So what does it sound like? A bad, what, what does a bad golfer sound like, right? You know this, David. Whack! Damn! <laughs> now, what does a bad skydiver sound like? Damn, whack. <laughs> very subtle. Very, very, very subtle. Kind of like, like the difference between a Harley and a Hoover. Do you know the difference between a Harley and a Hoover? No? It's very subtle. It's simply the location of the dirt bag. Very subtle. Okay. Just judging my crowd here. Types of pavement. <laughs> Asphalt and concrete. So you have Portland cement concrete. That's the white stuff. Portland cement is the binder. So what you need to understand about concrete, anytime you cement rock together, you get concrete. So you three quarter inch aggregate and then some sand, right? And what happens is the sand fills the voids of the rock, really, and gets it a nice tight mix. Then you want to add some kind of a glue, some kind of a binder. And that's Portland cement. That's this white powdered stuff. Okay, so Portland cement, there you go. I could actually, no, I won't do that. So, uh-oh, I pushed the wrong button. Now we're in trouble, see? Oh, I'm okay. Portland cement concrete. Sand, rock, Portland cement. <coughs> Manufactured from limestone. Okay, asphalt cement concrete. Now we call one asphalt and we call one concrete. Why do we do that? I don't know. So we just do that. That's what we do. So, you know, a lot of terms that we use to confuse people it makes us look smarter. That's why we do it. So for our purposes, we're going to call the white stuff concrete and we're going to call the black stuff asphalt. But if you know the technical name, it's Portland cement concrete and asphalt cement concrete is, is the asphalt. And the difference is in the binder and the binder is simply this liquid asphalt. Instead of this, we're going to use this. Okay. And this smells like money. <laughs> Robin Williams, I love the smell of asphalt in the morning. <laughs> you guys don't get that? It smells, you want to smell it, don't you? Go ahead. I know you do. Pass it around. Everybody loves the smell of asphalt. Okay, so, moving right along. Again, same thing. Manufactured from crude oil. It's the bottom of the barrel, right? So, so the, the liquid asphalt is the bottom of the barrel of the crude, with, that they get the gasoline and the oil and all that. When they got to the bottom of the barrel, they didn't know what to do with it back in the day, and they made roofing grade asphalt and paving grade asphalt. And that was great. In the beginning, they just wanted to get rid of the material, right? They wanted to get rid of it. And so they didn't, they didn't even want to make a profit. Nowadays, they've got new technologies to recrack the bottom of the barrel to get more of the lighter products. The lighter the product, the more profitable it is for the, for the refinery. So um, what's happening is, that product is never going to get cheaper. It's always going to be more expensive because it's harder and harder to come by, right? And they want to make a profit, and they want to recrack it and figure out how to get the lighter products out of it. So that's why, you know, the, the, the price of asphalt is always going up. Somehow, some way, I don't know how or why, but the price of cement seems to stay at about the same level as a binder as the price of asphalt. I wonder why that is. It's a, it's a product of limestone, and limestone is a natural resource, and they have to source it out of the side of a mountain, and it's not easy to find. But uh, it's interesting that, um, that that's exactly what it is, is they, they cost about the same. We're going to go into that in more detail. Incidentally, a guy walks into the bar with a chunk of asphalt under his arm. He says to the bartender, I'll have a beer and one for the road. No, I'm waiting to see who got set. <laughs> Have a beer, one for the road. Maybe it just wasn't funny. All right. Typical uses for each. 
uh, with, with concrete, bridges, dumpster pads, uh, airport runways, streets and highways, small residential driveways. Who has a small residential driveway, a two-car driveway? Is anybody's two-car driveway not concrete? Yours is? My neighbor's. <coughs> That's not yours, though. <laughs> You're disqualified. Here, get this guy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right. We'll talk a little bit about that because um, it kind of helps bring this all together. Asphalt pavement, parking lots, parking lots, big pieces of ass, big pieces of, of pavement, playgrounds, large pieces. So these school guys, I mean, they had big old playgrounds and big old parking lots. They had a lot of pavement that they had to deal with, and they had this two and a half month window to get it all done, and and sometimes less because of um, summer school. And so it was a, it's a big issue for them. Um, airport taxiways, you'll see, streets and highways, large driveways. So I started doing driveways. So I went to work for my dad way back when Moby Dick was a minnow. And we were actually doing driveways. We were in Redwood City, and we did the driveways in you know, Woodside and Atherton and um, all these uh, places where they had you know, big houses and they had big driveways. I mean, that's what we were looking for. Hillsboro, we get to Hillsboro. Portola Valley, big stuff. And all the driveways were asphalt back then. And usually they were, um, you know, maybe there was six inch, four to six inches of base rock and two inches of asphalt. That was pretty much the standard thing. Nowadays you go to these big houses and there's, there's pavers and stamped concrete and there's all different um, types of, of, of surfaces. But back then, that's what it is, or that's what it was.